All right, well, hey, everybody, Rob Satcham here. Um, you know, I got a really quick thing to tell you. I'm here in St. Paul. It is absolutely gorgeous out. If you are doing Google AdWords and you're a small business and you're looking to get in on paid search, you know, paid search is basically saying, hey, there's keywords out there. We want to create an ad and we want to pay to make sure that we can take part in that. I got a couple of quick tips for you. First off, there's a huge difference between what's called Google AdWords Express or AdWords Express is what they used to be called. And that's the one where if you're in your Google My Business account where you get your reviews, um, that's where it says, want to run an ad? Google My Business connects you to that Google AdWords Express. And AdWords Express, I tell you what, it doesn't give you a lot of control. There's a big difference between what's called AdWords Express and Google Ads, okay? Ads.google.com is the full-fledged, like, regular version of AdWords. It's changed. And then AdWords Express is meant to be turnkey, really easy, but it doesn't give you a ton of control, which is a huge deal when you're a small business. You know, most small businesses are trying to do a couple of things. One, control the geographical region, but two, you wanna be really careful on which iterations or versions of a keyword search you want to participate in. Here's a classic example. I've got a client who, <clears throat> you know, they wanna participate in Duplex for Sale Minneapolis, right? When people search Duplex for Sale Minneapolis, they want to be seen, right? And the reason they wanna be seen is they're gonna show the actual listings of duplexes, triplexes and quads and multifamily in Minneapolis. Now they run that ad regionally pretty close, but if they were to just go into Google AdWords Express and say, when people search Minneapolis duplex for sale, what the AdWords Express does is it kind of extracts all sorts of different keywords. You can't control the keyword very strongly and you can't omit certain groups of people. So for example, you may want to omit real estate agents, right? You may want to omit um, people that participate in different sectors. That's one thing. The second thing is you only want to have it trigger when someone says duplex for sale, not duplex for rent. So in Google AdWords Express, it can be really hard to control whether or not your ad is going to get triggered on other keywords. So it's not great. I don't recommend that most small businesses use AdWords Express. AdWords Express has some strengths to it, but usually it's much more difficult. So that's the first thing. Make sure that you open up an ads.google.com account. Don't use the AdWords Express. The second thing would be to make sure that you connect what's called a location extension into your um, Google Ads account. When you go into Google Ads, you'll want to add an extension. And <clears throat> when you connect an extension, basically what that's doing, the location extension, is your Google My Business account. Once you get that Google My Business account there, um, I love this part right here. It's gorgeous. Then you'd be able to attach that extension on some ads, and if somebody searches that search query right in your geographical region in about a 10 mile circle, your Google My Business reviews would pop up. So, all that being said, don't use Google AdWords Express. Try and use Google Ads instead of AdWords Express. And then if you put your location extension on that ad, it can be cool. Because then your reviews will pop. So that's two tips on Google Ads. It's a great way to uh, get business. So.